I'll tell you what, good effort by our guys uh, from start to finish. Uh, obviously, they played with great energy. We got off to a good start, and then we had a big lull there, and some guys came off the bench, uh, Ja'Cory, uh, Moses, Kiko, uh, Landis, and Mike. They gave us a, a nice lift, uh, and Wade as well. Uh, and I thought the second half, the wear and tear was very evident in this game because we were, uh, I thought we were in attack mode. And, and the thing I was most proud of, our guys, they did a good job of finishing. Uh, we hadn't finished well in many games, but I thought we were really assertive and aggressive, uh, making the right plays at the right time. And, uh, and of course, when you make shots, that, that helps as well. But I just thought the, the ball movement, our, our defense uh, uh, got multiple stops. And you can just see as we got those multiple st stops, uh, we did a good job of really being attack mode, attacking the basket, making the right decision. So I guess a dangerous Auburn team because they can shoot the basketball. We did a good job of defending uh, their shooters. Uh, 21 assists on uh, 28 field goals, that's pretty efficient basketball. And I think that's that tells a lot. But more importantly, I think our defense. Our defense was, was very effective. Well, he continues to play at a high level. His confidence continues to rise each and every game. And uh, and I just think he and Fred right now, you can just see that combination. is uh, They kind of play off each other uh, because Fred is playing probably some of his best basketball as well. Uh, so, you know, Auburn went to a zone, and uh, you got to pay attention to details. Those guys are, are making shots and making the right plays. I think he had five assists to go along with, you know, with, with the score. Uh, he's rebounding the basketball, nine for nine from the free throw line. Uh, yeah, he had a great night tonight. Bobby really got established in the paint tonight, too. How important is that for your team? Well, uh, that, that was big, and that's been point of emphasis with him is that, you know, you guys, I mean, he has size, he has agility, he has good footwork, and uh, now he's just got to continue to uh, to, to attack, attack the basket. You know, uh, you know, most young guys, you know, they're going to settle sometimes, but I thought today he did a good job of attacking and um, and making plays. He, he was finishing around the basket. Our guys did a good job of, of finding finding him there, and, and they, I guess they got him now missing three shots. I guess the two of those shots were probably point-blank shots. So, uh, that tells you he's getting the ball in high percentage areas, and uh, and he's he's finishing. But he's got nine rebounds as well, so that's that's what I really like about what's taking place with him. You guys had that seventeen to three run in the first half. That the guy go, I think, from a one point lead to a fifteen point lead. I guess and Bobby scored ten. And they got a lot of free throws. Talk about that. Run. Well, he came in uh, I think on the heels of the guys that uh, got us going. It was. We start off 8-0. Next thing I know, we look up, it was probably 8-8 eight, eight or whatever. And then when you look up, when those blue-collar guys came in there, uh, I think it went up to like 22-11. to 11. Uh, Then, of course, now that other group comes in, and, and I thought they, uh, they they had rested a little bit. So they came in and, and got the lead back up. Cody uh, quick picked up those two quick fouls. And I thought, you know, his – uh, his experience, I think, it, it was big, especially on defense. He was doing a good job of uh, of helping on help side, coming up with a couple of steals, uh, making a couple of hustle plays. You saw our guys, I mean, really just just leaving everything out on the floor, and uh, and that's Razorback basketball. When you leave it all out on the floor, uh, that, that's a great sign. Yeah, that play Cody had where he flipped it and went over the scores table. And, 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 yeah. Well, so I mean, that, that's to me is that you know you talk about the third and second effort. Well, that was a fourth and fifth effort. I mean, he went out of the play. Uh, he might have been, you know, he was probably up in there with the in the, in the stand with the fans, but he had the presence to come and ball hunt and tap it, and we get it again. And then I think we got some free throws out of that. That that energizes not only you know our, our bench, the guys out on the floor, uh, but I think it energizes the building as well. What's Fred done? Well, Fred is playing, you know, I think he's settled down. He's comfortable now. I mean, he's he's making plays for us. He's making momentum plays, uh, whether it be offensively. When he's open, he's knocking shots down. He's much more aggressive in attacking the basket. Uh, I, I just think he feels more comfortable now. And uh, defensively, he's always going to be a guy that's going to be around the ball. We're going to rebound. We're going to uh, guard some of the, you know, uh, better guards that are on other teams. Uh, so I think he's just getting comfortable, and I think those guys are getting comfortable, the guys that are playing. He and Kai, like I said, they're playing off each other, along with Antlon Bell. We saw uh, some sparks from him tonight. Uh, uh, so, again, there's some continuity that's, that's building with this basketball team, and uh, we just got to keep trying to get those cylinders all clicking at the same time. 
Well, I think the great thing about it is with Mike, it, it wasn't just on offense. You know, sometimes a lot of guys just predicate the game on offense. If they're not scoring, they're not involved. And so, you know, my, uh, my talk with Mike was, hey, go do something to get yourself going. Sometimes it may be a, a hustle play, a deflection, a rebound, uh, a block shot. And I thought we saw some energy plays, and all of a sudden now, you know, that lead had come off, and uh, he, he was in the front of the zone, and they let go one, and he got it and attacked the basket. So uh, uh, I, I think we're going to see some uh, some more of those plays, and not only those kind of plays, but uh, some defensive plays, some effort plays, and uh, he can rebound anytime he wants to. Uh, so we just got to get some consistency with, with Mike, and uh, and hopefully this is a this is another start for him. He got shot over 65 percent in the second half. Well, we, we did a good job of, uh, of, of really attacking Auburn. Our defense got multiple stops, and we really pushed the basketball and flattened the defense and kicked it out when we had open shots. We took it. I thought we played inside out. And when you do that, uh, and we got to the free throw lines, and we made free throws in the second half. We, but when you go inside out, I, I think that gives you a lot more balance, and, and you're a lot more effective. And I thought we were, we were really efficient uh, in terms of – uh, identifying. Bobby was a guy that we could score in there. Then all of a sudden now we're posting up, we're cutting to the basket, and we're getting in there and we're finishing shots off. Uh, but I, I just thought we were really continually in an attack mode. Uh, we didn't let up. We didn't let up. And when that opportunity presented itself, our guys did a good job of making the plays. You talked about mixing things up earlier this week. Talk about what Corey's been able to do for you guys in well, he's he's giving us an energy off the bench. Uh, if his first play was coming in and getting an offensive rebound and putting it in there. Uh, he got to the free throw lines a couple of times. Uh, uh, I think he got an offensive rebound maybe on the free throw. Uh, he got a foul on one. Then all of a sudden he went down there and they pushed him in the back. Uh, I just think he gives he gives us energy and think he gives us some toughness. And he's a he's one of those hybrid forwards that you got to guard. Uh, he made a great spin, uh, attacked the baseline and, and converted. Uh, didn't get back in the second half, but. Uh, those minutes he played in the first half, which were nine, I thought he was he was dynamite. I thought he was a big difference in what took place from a lead that was probably one or two points, and it ballooned up to 10, 12 points in the first half.